Hi everybody, the basic idea of this slideshow is to have an element to hold an image that points to an array with an index that is on the state. And we and what we do is to cycle this ID and React to take care of displaying the new image. Alright, so we're going to start with the basic query we are at and deleting the default code. We're going to showcase the important parts of the CSS later in the video, but for now let's go directly at doing some direct. So here we have a basic app and we're going to define the slideshow component that is going to have images as props that are going to be an array of image URLs. Notice that here we deconstruct the props object in the function parameters and we will retrieve the image array. Now in the slideshow component, we're going to use the use state and use effect hooks. The index variable is going to hold the current image being displayed. First we use the use effect to ensure that the index is zero when mounting the component. This might not be that necessary, but in a full app might be. You can remove it if you have any problems. We define the next and prep functions, but before implementing we display something in the main component. So we have the slash of div, the image with the source being the image at the current index, and a div for the actions of the slideshow with their respect on click event. Here I have a type on the on click of the second action button, but I fix that later. So for the next function, we test if we are at the end of the list. If we are, we set it to the first Otherwise, we add one to the index. We do something similar to the prep function, but here we test if we are at the beginning. I have a question for you. Is there a better way of doing this? If you find a one, I'm going to give you a heart in the comments. So good luck. Awesome. With that, we have the basic functionality of a slideshow. But there is something missing, isn't it? Oh yeah, a thumbnail bar. Uh, let's implement that. So for the thumbnail component, we, we ask for an array of images, an image function to set the current display. This is going to be passed from the parent to the uh, child component and the index of the current image being displayed. Now we map through the array of images, displaying them with a height of 50. The browser should cache the original image and give it instantly. Otherwise, we could have a smaller version and swap it here. But for now, let's use the original URL. We're going to pass the set index to the thumbnail component, so we call image uh, i to select the new image with the corresponding index, and Rex should take care of the update in the view. Then we set the class name active only if the current index of the loop matches the index selected in the app, so we can have some visuals on the one that is currently being selected. Here we put the thumbnail component, giving it the image array, the set index state function, and the current index. Alright, so we have the body with margin zero, the active class with a scale of 1.3. This is to scale each thumbnail. Then we have the app, display flex, and a bunch of alignment that maybe I did too much. The slideshow with a position relative. This is so we can position things uh, with absolute inside the slideshow. The main image with a transition of all the properties to 500 milliseconds. The actions class with a position absolute, a 50% from the top, weight of 100, a display flex, and a justify or space between of the, the elements so it, they, they can be as far as possible. Finally, we have the action buttons with the background, no border, uh, the course and pointer, some padding, some margin, a border radius, and a padding for the top of five pixels. We have something similar using the active rule so we can have some some feedback for the user. Have we done? Awesome. So have you liked the tutorial? If so, consider subscribing, give it a like. If you have any question, comment below. If you want to see me coding this live and doing community learning and answering questions, you should follow me on Twitch that I am planning to do some more regular streams there. And that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.